Electric distribution has problems. Manually controlling electric distribution wastes time. Manual switches can lead to human error. Identity theft is another issue with electric distribution. Electric Keeper allows users to buy electricity with a smart contract. Chainlink Keepers automatically monitors and turns off power for units that have expired subscriptions. Our smart contract is deployed in Polygon's Mumbai testnet for fast transactions. We use a Raspberry Pi 4 running Node.js to control LED voltages from our smart contract with Alchemy's Mumbai WebSocket Secure Web 3 provider. Chainlink gives our smart contract secure Oracle and DevOps support. The front end is built using React, where we utilize different Web3 libraries like the Web3 React provider to connect with different wallets like Wallet Connect, MetaMask, and Coinbase. We host the front end on Fleek in IPFS as well as Skynet Labs, where you can access it through the CSKY portal. To emulate an electric grid, a Raspberry Pi 4 is connected to 8 LEDs in series with current limiting resistors. LED power subscriptions can be bought with our smart contract. Power subscriptions can be created and renewed. The owner can turn off LEDs that are still on with expired subscriptions. Chainlink Keepers checks for expiration status with check upkeep and turns off expired LEDs with perform upkeep. The owner can turn LEDs off for emergencies. When turned back on, the LED stays on for the remaining time left before emergency off. The hardware gets all voltage values and turns power on or off based on contract state. On each event trigger, the hardware will check the voltage states again. Chainlink VRF V2 is a secure, responsive, and gas efficient way to get random numbers on chain. We use these values for a random 8-bit light show. We store each value from 1 to 255. We were able to deposit one way from Rinkaby to ZK Sync on event triggers to create an event counter. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory has a GET API for electric rates based on location coordinates. Using Chainlink's API oracles, we parse the JSON API data to get it onto our smart contract. To pay for the electricity, we are simulating stable coins using on-chain price feeds. We are doing this instead of using an ERC20 stable coin, as that would waste time and gas with an extra approval function. We get the latest MATIC to USD conversion from Chainlink price feeds and scale it in the following way. The returned value from our one penny function is the MATIC equivalent of a penny. Chainlink integration and solidity coverage unit testing were fully completed. To interact with our services, you will need to navigate to our homepage, then connect with your wallet. You can choose between MetaMask, Coinbase, and the Wallet Connect wallet. We buy an LED for one minute on. Voltage alert detected. Expiration time is shown on the status page. Then we turn the LED off for an emergency. Remaining time before expiration is saved. After that, we turn the LED back on once it is safe. Save time is applied when turned back on. Voltage alert detected. Chainlink Keepers automatically turns off the expired LED. Voltage alert detected. We buy all 8 LEDs in a way to simulate an 8 minute countdown. The status page shows the expirations are one minute apart. We send 0.01 link to our smart contract. Then we request API electric rate data from a Chainlink Oracle to our smart contract. After about 30 seconds, the API value can be seen in our smart contract. We request VRFV2 random values and check the Chainlink request status. 